Several local veterans have been selected to embark on a trip commemorating the 80th anniversary of D-Day. That term D-Day given to June 6th, 1944, marking the U.S. and Allied Forces invasion of the beaches at Normandy in northern France during World War II. Isabel Garcia joins us now in studio with more on this. Isabel. Yes, good evening to you, Adam. So many of these veterans, each with their own stories to tell and share. The trip, organized by the Greatest Generation Foundation, is bringing veterans from across the country to Normandy for the June 6th honor, marking 80 years since the historic moment. Affectionately described by his daughter as the best jokester with the biggest heart, U.S. Navy veteran Joe Grossman recounts what he was like at age 17 when first enlisting. Just the same uh, old uh, rotten teenager who wants to get to, to do whatever he wants. And that's, uh, we were all teenagers when we got, went on, right? Right. With a surprise Patriot Guard escort, the local World War II veteran departed to the airport Wednesday morning, joining more than a dozen others on a trip to New York City. They will then all board the Queen Mary, voyaging on a seven-day journey to England, then Normandy, France, for the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Uh, it was an honor to serve. And I have no regrets. And I don't think of any of the uh, servicemen or women. And we're forgetting that. We're forgetting the women who have been involved in the. And I think there's one in Rochester now. She's over 100, a servicewoman. But the fact remains is that we're still around. Grossman notes the often emotionally difficult nature of talking about what experiences these then teens had during the war. He speaks to the importance of folks of all ages taking the time to listen when stories are told and to learn. I know what people are concerned. And these are the families that lost the sons, the husbands, stuff like that. They remember. Is there anything about the trip that you um, are most looking forward to? Yes, to express myself when I come back to those who didn't come with us. Exciting moments indeed. I know we're all certainly eager to hear all of those experiences and stories when they return. Wishing all of the veterans safe travels and a big thank you for their service. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.